Hey guys, so I'm in the Swan and Dolphin uh, lobby right now, and it's about like 5.30 in the morning. I woke up super early today um, because there's a special morning ticketed event that I, um, I guess, signed up for in the Magic Kingdom, and it was about like 70 bucks, so eh, a little bit pricey, but not bad. And basically, my goal today is to go there, and I'm going to go there right now and start lining up. It starts at 7.45 a.m., and my goal is to be first for the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and get my entire train at some point. And they said it, it could happen, so I really want to get my own train. That's like my goal today. Um, but yeah, check out, this is the lobby here, I guess at the Dolphin. Uh, it is 5.47 actually. So it's like, yeah, it's really early. Um, oh, I'm like so tired. Uh, I uh, went to bed at 1 a.m. last night, so I guess this means I got like f almost six hours, maybe five hours of sleep. Oh gosh, my mind is just, I'm drained. But anyways, let's see if I can get my own mind train today at the Magic Kingdom. I guess the lights just, oh no, that's the hotel side. People don't have their lights on. So I'm here at uh, the Contemporary right now, at Uber here. Um, so I'm gonna walk over to Magic Kingdom, but check this out. I really like how Disney Transport has these things now at the bus stops where they'll tell you when the next bus arrives. Now, nothing's open right now. It's really, it's like 5 a.m. So that's why you don't see any times because the buses aren't scheduled to run yet. Um, but when you know when they are, you'll see. And usually um, in the evenings, like late at night, it will just be like so Magic Kingdom doesn't have buses, so it will just be like Hollywood Studios and anim maybe Animal and Disney Springs. Uh, but usually there's those like, and then the water parks are closed. So you know uh, it's helpful for the few parks you have to go to. But if you're going to Magic Kingdom or Epcot, I don't think they have. I don't know if they have buses here. Yeah, see, see, it says the monorail goes to Magic Kingdom and Epcot. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Check this out, pretty cool. So it's just starting to become morning here. And it's actually looking like it's gonna be clear skies. <gasps> yeah, it's gonna be clear skies, guys. When we were driving here, I wasn't sure. Okay, here's the thing. I wasn't sure if this was like clouds because over here kinda looks like it could be cloudy, but it looks like it's clear skies, which is awesome. We are walking right now to the Magic Kingdom. Yes, it's gonna be cool. What a really nice morning, like, wow. Sunrise is gonna be awesome. So it is now 6 a.m., three full hours before the Magic Kingdom is scheduled to open. So if I'm not the first person, besides the cast members, of course, because they're gonna, obviously they'll, they'll be there. If I'm not the first person, I don't even know how, I, I give up. If I'm not the first person, I give up, guys. That's, this is my dream. Today is a day. I'm going to get my own mind train. I just have to, I gotta keep a good attitude. I gotta keep my hopes up high. You know, I gotta take a deep breath and it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get my own mind train and it's gonna make me emotional, but I'm gonna get my own mind train. It's gonna make me happy, actually. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, um, the ticketed event starts at 7.45 a.m. So I'm sure I'll be like the first person lined up for that, which should be pretty awesome. Yeah, you can see Space Mountain right here and um, that road back there is like only cast members only, but you can still stand here and get a pretty good uh, picture of Space Mountain. I don't think I've ever seen the Magic Kingdom this quiet. They don't even have the music on this early. That's how early I'm here. First time being here this early. Hopefully I can get 
my own line train. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it now. Let's get into the front entrance, yay. So here it is guys, the Magic Kingdom. And it's uh, pretty early. Wow. All right, it is really early. They don't have the music on yet, but wow, I've never been here this early. It's, it's kind of insane. Um, just quiet, you know, people are preparing. Wow, and I love the lights on it. It looks awesome. Wow. All right, I'm gonna be the first person. All right, here's the Magic Kingdom, everybody, and it's very early. It's like 6.20 a.m., I believe. Uh, which is pretty good. Um, not many people here. This is crazy. I've never even been the first, very first guest here. Like, very, very, very first person. Which is awesome. Here it is, the Magic Kingdom. All right, yeah, it's starting to uh, open up soon. So, yeah, pretty cool. Check it out, here's the Magic Kingdom. I'm here super early, I'm one of the first people, and it's awesome. Um, there's some other people now, but yeah. Man, because you are extra special. <laughs> yeah, get a sticker. Thank you. Here's a sticker I have. Pretty cool. It just turned on the music here. Awesome. So we're gonna try to come around here and get a good view of this. Mickey to Mickey, awesome. Good. Alright, we gotta head in now. Here's Main Street, USA. Pretty much empty. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Wow. I'm walking down Main Street without the annoying ropes and the people screaming and running over you. It's, oh, it's, this is nice. This is what I miss. 
We used to walk down here. You didn't have to deal with people shoving and the ropes and these, those were the days, you know. Those were the days. All right. All right. Try to get my own mind train. Let's make it happen. Faster, faster. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow. See, this is much less stressful than the alternative to the rope drop. I don't know why they, they have the rope drops, it's kind of stressful. All right. Awesome. Let's uh, get some photos here while we're walking. We gotta make this really quick though. We gotta, I mean, uh, it's probably quicker to go straight. This, yeah. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is hard. Alright. I'm doing this for you guys though. Myself, I guess. Alright. Uh, this is exhausting. Okay. Alright. Sorry if I'm out of breath. But guess what? Oh, this is hard. Okay. All right, here it is, New Fantasyland. Okay. Good morning. Morning. Poo, though. Okay. Oh, okay. You guys, the first guest over here, just did. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna line up for this. This is something you don't see every day. Five minutes for the seven dwarfs. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Right, so the, the dwarfs are working as hard as they can to get it up and running. You can see there's like nobody here, which is awesome. Hey, good morning. How are ya? I just saw it testing. So that's a really good sign. Uh, yeah, we're here. It's not too busy, which is good. Um, wait time. Well, there's nobody in line, so wait time short. My own train. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <laughs>
Thank you. All right, awesome. Thanks. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh! 
Guys, you don't know, ha, theme park review, Rob. You don't know how long I've been trying to do this. Like, holy moly. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the games here uh, at the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. You know, I'm so happy. I, my life is, I, I couldn't, there's nothing else I want. Let's just put it that way. There's nothing else in life I want right now. I've gotten, I am living. Like, this is awesome. Like, look at this. Like, wow. All to myself. I feel like I'm a dwarf myself. So, yeah, this is the uh, queue line. There are some interactive games over here we're just gonna try to find over here. Yeah, we have the um, interactive games right here. You just uh, drag the jewels into these cool little things. It's all touch screen. So you drag the jewels again. Let's demonstrate it. So, for example, you want to match uh, the same shape and same color. So, just going to demonstrate it. Bam, there you go. And you can do, I mean, you can do as many as you want. You can try to do all three. It's pretty cool. going. <laughs> Pretty cool. I guess. Whoa. 
this is amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I skipped the breakfast. Hey. All right. Which I don't need apples, I got my own mind train, I'm happy. <laughs> I like to be funny in my videos. Alright. So there's literally um, no wait. So there's literally like no wait. So I've been getting off fast pass. Uh, this is like the fast pass line and getting right back in. And uh, it's almost pretty much walking. <laughs> favorite roller coaster of all time, I gotta say. Wow. Right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Ah. Whoa. 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 It's so immersive here. Whoa.
the jewels. Grab some. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. It's off to the work we go. Got it, uh, rocks back and forth. Whoa. Whoa. Brake run. Oh, uh, just air trim brakes. Okay. Alright, so I got my own train. The next goal is to get her to give me an apple. Alright, that's my next goal, so. just open and this is what I would be waiting in but guess what I didn't have to wait in it and I got my own train today's a good day so let's take advantage of this walk-on while we, we can
Whoa! Whoa! Awesome! And brakes. That was awesome. So now I'm headed to uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad um, to see if I can get my own train on there. I don't know. We'll see. Right, here it is. The Big Horse Mine Train. Anybody ride So today marks history. On this day, which let's see, it is Tuesday, May 31st. 2016, Brandon Bloggs got his own mind train. This, I'm gonna write it down in the books. This is, this is pretty good. This is like, you know how you have those big life moments, like, you know, graduation, you're, maybe you're like, uh, I don't know, 16th birthday or 13th, I don't know. You have all those life moments, but this is on that list, like, my own mind train, yeah. So here's uh, Fantasyland. Yeah, we're headed to uh, Big Thunder Mountain, which is this way. I'm still super excited about uh, getting my own mine train. I've been waiting like two or three years. It's been really hard. I mean, it took a lot of work. I'm telling you, I had to come maybe six or seven times at opening and try to trample people just to get my own mine train, but that didn't work. But today they helped me out. So, you know, it's good. Um, if you really work at something, you achieve it and it makes you feel better about yourself, I guess. I mean, I, I got uh, the Disneyland, Big Thunder Mountain, my own train, Seven Dwarfs, now I just have to try to do this Big Thunder Mountain here in Disney World and maybe a few other like Ever Everest and stuff, but I'll achieve it at some point. And I just wanted to say the event earlier, it's called um, Morning Magic, Early Morning Magic. And it's, it's not done every day. It's only done on like specific days of the week. I think two days um, every week. And so I'm not 100% I'm not sure and I'm sure they said this is the last one. So this might be the last chance I'll ever be able to get my own mind train. Uh, so. I took the chance, and I missed breakfast, but it was worth it. So yeah, um, it's a cool like, view of Splash Mountain. Looks like Splash Mountain's empty. Everyone's probably heading towards uh, Thunder Mountain, which makes sense. Anyway, shout out to the guy at Big Thunder, or uh, sorry, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. He helped me out big time. I really appreciate it. Guy, if you're watching, Oh my gosh, and I forgot his name, I should have got it, but amazing guy. Um, anyways, all right, um, let's see. I've never done that island, I might do it since it's like two minutes after park opening and I, I have to go to another park, but I might do that quickly. We'll see. I've actually never even taken these um, boats out here on the water. They look kind of cool, like little logs and stuff. Yeah, it looks awesome. Here are the logs, right here, empty. You know, I might do Splash Mountain to cool off, because everyone's over at the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Alright, 
next ride. Hopefully we can get our own mine train on, on this one. Thinking about it. Uh -huh. Do it.